rainbows and welcome back to another video so for blind viewers I'm wearing this like gray lacy top my hair is in a gray scrunchie in a high ponytail you can hear my dog walking around <laughs> um, and I am wearing this like pink gray and white cardigan there we go behind me is a quilt with different Broadway playbills and shows on it and today we are talking about something that I have been asked on TikTok Instagram pretty much every social media platform and that is how as a blind girl do I watch TV and movies do I watch TV and movies can I watch TV show and movies those kinds of questions so I'm going to get into that, how I do it, if I do it at all. The answer to that is yes, I do. <laughs> um, and just for some fun at the end, I'll give you some Netflix recommendations. And if you have any for me, let me know. I would love to watch something new. So without further ado, let's get into answering this question. Can blind people watch TV shows and movies? If so, how do they do that? All right, so part one with our question was, can blind people watch TV shows and movies even though they can't see? The answer to that is yes, of course they can. I do it. <laughs> um, I've been watching a lot of TV and Netflix since we've been in our house for the past how many months now? Um, so yes, of course we can. But of course, is that a personal preference? So you know, if a blind person doesn't want to watch TV or movies or doesn't do it that often, it's most likely not because they're blind it could be but it's probably just personal preference so how do we do it well there is a there's an idea that blind people use subtitles or closed captioning that is not true um i've had a lot of people ask me if like if we're watching tv together they'll ask me if we should turn on subtitles to make it easier for me and they've been like very serious like they've honestly wanted to help so they asked if they should turn on subtitles and then i have to be like no because i can't read the subtitles subtitles and closed captioning are extremely helpful for people who are deaf and hard of hearing but for the blind community, not necessarily our favorite thing. So instead of subtitles and CC, we use something called audio descriptions. Now, when I was younger and heard of audio descriptions, I was very anti audio description. I did not want to use them. I was not going to use them. You would never, ever, ever catch me using audio descriptions ever. And now, you pretty much won't catch me watching something without audio descriptions. So, wow, how the turns have tabled. Isn't that a thing? Anyway, so basically audio descriptions describe all of the visual things on screen that you are missing not being able to see. So they will describe people, what they look like. They'll describe facial expressions. They'll describe actions. They'll describe clothing. I don't know why I said the word like that, but they will describe clothing if it's important. They'll read signs, they'll read subtitles if need be. So audio descriptions describe every visual thing or at least the important visual things um, that you are missing as a blind viewer. Now, not all blind people use audio descriptions. Some love them, some just really don't like them. I used to be on the really don't like them side. I'm now on the love them and every single show should have them side. And that's just up to each person, you know, personal preference. So yes, blind people can watch TV. Yes, they do use audio descriptions. No, they probably don't use subtitles. That's not the most helpful thing. But now let's get into where exactly you can find audio descriptions if you're looking for them. And I'll give you some recommendations for shows that use audio descriptions. So Netflix is really, really good in that every single Netflix original has audio descriptions and some shows that aren't Netflix originals have them as well. Now, um, I actually <laughs> have preferred streaming services based on audio descriptions because to me, certain streaming services have better audio descriptions than others. Um, Netflix is my favorite. So Netflix originals, like I said, all have audio descriptions. The shows that I have come across um, on Netflix that, do, that are not Netflix originals but have audio descriptions are The Good Place and Mad Men. So highly recommend those two shows. 
um, especially The Good Place. I adore The Good Place. You guys should definitely watch it. But um, Netflix originals that I love with audio descriptions and I love their audio descriptions as well um, would be One Day at a Time. That's an amazing show. Highly, highly, highly recommend. What else? I'm scared to say the name of this one because you'll see. I'll say it really fast. Alexa and Katie. <laughs> um, I don't want her to start talking. Answer your question. According to Wikipedia, Catherine Alexa, Alexa. stop. <laughs> um, the audio descriptions for that are really, really good. Um, it's a really good show. It tackles some really serious subjects though, so be warned, but I think it's really important and just honestly an all around great show. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then we have shows, like even reality shows on Netflix have audio descriptions if they're Netflix original reality shows. So like The Circle had audio descriptions, which was super helpful because a lot of it involved reading. So pretty much any Netflix original, I'm a big fan of just because again, descriptions. Now on other streaming services, so let's look at Hulu for a minute. Um, Hulu Originals have descriptions. I have not come across any other content on Hulu that does. So for example, I like watching This Is Us, right? That show, even though it does feature a, spoiler alert, a blind character later in the seasons, does not have audio descriptions, which I not a huge fan of. So um, I don't watch a lot of Hulu originals. I should. I've been meaning to. I just haven't. So I don't have a lot of recommendations for shows on Hulu that have descriptions just because I haven't found a lot. But I will definitely leave a resource in the description below that details all of the streaming services and all of the shows on the streaming services that have descriptions. So definitely check that out because you might find shows that you absolutely adore that have descriptions that I just haven't found yet. So go check that out. Now on Amazon Prime Video, I will say like, you know, they're Amazon Originals. They have descriptions, we love that. But a lot of their movies do too, which is super convenient. So movies like Hereditary um, and Midsummer, is that how you say that? The Ari Aster movies, <laughs> they have audio descriptions, which is super convenient. So I actually do really appreciate the fact that Amazon Prime or Prime Video is thinking of adding descriptions for their mainstream movies, like super big theatrical movies, because Netflix really doesn't do that. It just does that for the originals. So that's a really cool thing that you can definitely um, look for. And also on all of these services, you can go to the search bar and type in audio descriptions and it pulls up most of the content on the streaming service with audio descriptions. I have had nothing but time over the past few months, can you tell? <laughs> um, and finally, well, there are a few other streaming services that I messed around with just because I got them for free with a Spotify subscription, so like Showtime. I have not found a single show on Showtime with audio descriptions, I could be wrong. I will again link the website below, but Showtime. And then Disney Plus, I actually really like Disney Plus. Their audio descriptions are pretty good. Um, most shows on Disney, no, I actually wouldn't say that. Newer shows on Disney Plus have audio descriptions, right? So like our shows like Hannah Montana and Wizards of Waverly Place that if you are a 2000s baby you grew up with, they do not have audio descriptions. Shows like Girl Meets World and Andy Mack do have audio descriptions. A lot of the older Disney movies do in fact have descriptions, which is great because if you're like me and have only seen three Disney movies in your lifetime, you can now watch these older Disney movies that you just never watch for some reason with descriptions and know what's going on. So descriptions, I've said that word so many times, <laughs> but they are super, super, super helpful and I wish more shows had them. Um, I really, really, really want to watch the show Friends with audio descriptions. That is my goal. Um, don't know how I can make that happen, but I would love to <laughs> just because I've grown up with the show and I want to know all of the visuals. So, you know, I wish more shows had them, but I'm super grateful for the shows that do. And like I said, I will definitely leave a list or a website with a huge list of every like show on a streaming service with audio descriptions. If it's the website I'm thinking of, it should be in alphabetical order. It's very, very helpful, very accessible. You can click the link, see how to get it. So yeah, that is how blind people watch TV and movies. I've basically been rambling for 
way too long about this subject, so let's get to the outro. But if you guys have any other questions or you want to hear my thoughts on different streaming services, their descriptions, what they provide, different movies, different tropes, different TV shows, I'm a big fan of pop culture. I don't know if you can tell. Um, let me know in the comments below because I could talk about these things for a very long time. So yeah. All right, my rainbows, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Like I said, if you have suggestions for any upcoming videos from me, anything you want to see, let me know. Um, I like making content you like. So yeah, just do that. <laughs> um, please like and share and subscribe, all of that fun stuff. Turn on the little bell for notifications because your girl doesn't have an upload schedule <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Remember you are loved. You are valid. I care about you. I am so, so proud of you. Drink your water, take care of yourself because you deserve it. Have an amazing day and I will see you all in the next video and leave me some Netflix recommendations. Bye.